question 2014, the first question on paper 2 is a trig question. So here, the lengths of sides of a flat triangular field is AB is equal to 120 metres, BC is 134 metres, and AC is 150 metres. Find CBA to C to B to A, C to B to A. What angle have they asked you for? The one in the middle, angle B. Now here we can't use sine, cos or tan, the trig identities, silly old Harry or Oliver had a handful of apples or so katoa because it's not a right angle triangle. So the only two possibilities could be the sine rule or the cosine rule. Now in the cosine rule, that's the one I think of first, you use the cosine rule if you're given three sides or two sides and angle in between, two sides and an included angle. If it follows that criteria, it's a cause rule. And here we're given the three sides, so we know we're using the cosine rule. And the cosine rule states a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. Now, uh, whatever we're looking for, so here we're looking for this here angle. So this is the side opposite. a, b, and c here is obviously the sides. This is going to be the angle. So. We're working out this angle here, so I'm going to be referring to the side opposite. So 150 squared is equal to 120 squared plus 134 squared minus 2 times 120 times 134 cos a. Now tidy that up for yourself. So 150 is 22,500. 20 squared is 14,400 plus 17956 minus 2 times 120 times 134 is 32160. Now we want to work out cos A. Stuck on with this. So get that over to one side. So 3216 cos A. Is equal to 14400 plus 17956 minus 22000. When you work that all out, you get 32160 cos A is equal to 9856. So we want to get the cos A in certain degrees. So cos A stuck on it, so we divide it 9856 over 32160. And then we go to work at the angle you do to cause inverse of that. Cause inverse of that answer. Oh yeah, just make sure you're in degrees. So shift cause inverse. And you five six over three two one six. Otherwise, you get a really small look answer. I got an answer of one point two. So, comes in for that answer, 72.15 degrees. And to the near, or to one decimal place, 72.15 degrees. Lovely. Find the area of the triangle ACB. Correct to the nearest whole number. So again, we can't use here half the base by height. But we can use uh, half uh, AB sine C is what it says. What that means is half the product of any two sides Half the product of any two sides by the sine of them between angle. Half the product of any two sides by the sine of them between angle. The sine of the included angle. Doesn't sound as good though. Half the product of any two sides by the sine of the in-between angle, which you just worked out, 72.15. And you get 7652.97. And that's meters squared, and to the nearest whole number, 7653 meters squared. And then the last bit here, the vertical mass DE, once we see it's vertical, it's forming right angle triangles down there. You just contact with the ground, it's fixed at a circumcenter D, so that means there that these are the same distances from each other. The mast is held in place by three taut cables EA, 
EB, AC, explain why the three triangles are equal in length. Now, that's just asking you, why is EA the same as EB, same as DC? So you must be thinking, since it's the same, not just similar, you must be thinking about congruent triangles. So congruent triangles, you're looking for SAS, side angle side, uh, RHS, ASA, you know. We, if they can satisfy these criteria, they're a congruent triangle. So here, I'm just going to take out your three triangles, ADE, EDB, EDC. And each of those triangles, so triangles, AED, triangle, CED, and triangle, BED are congruent. And they're congruent because you can see straight away, ED is equal to ED. It's a common side. Well, obviously, they're part of all triangles and it's the same side, so it must be the same length. Common side. I always try to give a few B reasons. Uh, the next thing here, AD is equal to DB is equal to BC. Um, that's another side. And it's to do with your circumstance. Side. Now we just need an angle here. It's a vertical mast. So ADE is equal to CDE. Is equal to the length of the angle BDE. 90 degrees. Therefore, EA is equal to EB is equal to EC. The straggles are congruent. That's it.